Hello, great tens. Um, this is a lesson on trigonometric ratios in the Cartesian plane. So I'm going to show you how the uh, ratios relate to the Cartesian plane. When we're talking about the Cartesian plane, we are actually talking about the y-axis and the x-axis. When you look at them, they are divided into four. So we call these quadrants. This is the first quadrant. This is the second quadrant the third quadrant and the fourth quadrant. When you, when you count quadrants, we go anti-clockwise. So the one that I've drawn here is in the first quadrant. So I'm going to talk about um, how the ratios um, in the uh, Cartesian plane. Right. When you draw, the, you remember that tri, tri -ang, um, trigonometry has to do with triangles. So in a Cartesian plane, you're going to draw from the origin going up in the first quadrant. And then you're going to go have a line dotted going down. So this line will be your y because it's parallel to the y-axis. And then when you're looking at this, this is your x. As you can see, is your x-axis. So this length from there to there is your x. When you look at this coordinate p here is x, y. So it means this, this point here is x long and then is y long again. So this will be there. Now, we're going to use this information and see, oh, I forgot one thing. This line that is opposite the 90 degrees is called R, which is the hypotenuse. So you have your x, your y, and your R. So let's see how this relates to trick ratios. A, your so, ka, top. Okay, your sign is equals to opposite. No, I don't want, I want to write sign in four. Sign theta is equals to opposite over hypotenuse. Now let's look at this diagram. The line that is opposite the um, theta is this one. It's opposite. It's O. O. Let me write it in right properly. That's your O. And this one is your hypotenuse. So your sine theta, sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So do you see that it is y over r? Then your cos theta, your cos theta is adjacent, which is a over hypotenuse, which is r. Adjacent over hypotenuse. Your adjacent is your x and your hypotenuse is your r. And then tan theta is equals to, what is tan? Let's remind ourselves, so kato. It's opposite over, as you say, it's opposite over adjacent. Opposite is your y and your adjacent is your x. So this is how, when you are asked a question on a Cartesian plane, use these ones instead of that one. So, but if you use that one, it's fine. But it's easier if you use the x and the r and the y, because that's what you have on your Cartesian plane. I'm going to do an example now of a question where you are supposed to write in the Cartesian plane. Let's do that. Okay. When you get, um, this is a question that is from a previous paper here. You see we are given 4 cot theta plus 3 equals to 0. And then it's in the interval theta is greater than 0 and less than 180. When you're given this kind of a question, you need to follow these steps. So the first steps you the first step you determine which quadrant theta is in is in, and then you draw the diagram. I'm gonna show you now, and then you calculate the value of the you'll have one side missing. Use Pythagoras to calculate the value of that. And then you solve the problem using the diagram. So when you look at the question, you'll be asked to calculate cos theta sine theta, tan theta, you will not be asked to calculate theta. So don't calculate theta because that's not what you will be asked. Okay? 
let's look at this example the first thing that you do you need to leave the trick ratio all by itself so i have four cot theta plus three is equals to zero I have four cot theta is equals to minus three cot theta is equals to minus three over four here's my trick ratio all by itself and then here's my ratio okay the next thing draw partition plane all right partition plane and then And then the first thing that's determine where each quadrant theta is. When I look at my interval, they say theta is greater than zero and less than one eight. So it can be in this quadrant or that quadrant because one eight is here. So it's the two first quadrant. Now I need to find what's the ratio. It's quad. Quad is an inverse of tan. Tan is y over r. So it means this one is not over r, is y over x. So it means this one is x over y. Okay? Sure. Now, in, in, in this quadrant, in the first quadrant, x and y, they're both positive. So it's not in the first quadrant. In the second quadrant, what is negative? The x is negative and the y is positive. So it means my x is the negative y over y. Then I'm in the second quadrant. So I'll have that. This is my 90 degrees. This is my theta. My theta is from the origin up to there. So this is my theta. Okay. My x is negative 3 and my y is 4. So I'm going to use Pythagoras to calculate my r. So I have r squared is equals to x squared plus y squared. r squared is equals to x squared. My x is minus 3. Very important. Put brackets around squared plus 4. Put brackets around squared. And then my r is equals to plus minus square root of And 3 squared is 9 plus uh, 4 squared is 16. I get 25. So it means my R is plus minus 5. Therefore, you need to choose the correct one. You, you, when you're using a square root, your answers are always plus or minus. Then you have to choose in that quadrant which one is positive, which one is the correct one, either positive or negative. R is always positive in all quadrants. So my R is equals to 5. After getting your R, go to the diagram and put that your R is 5. Right? Then now we can start doing the questions. I'm going to do the questions here. The first one here so that I have my diagram. Because when you do these questions, you use the diagram. So I'm asked cos theta is equals to okay what is my cos theta so cartoa cos is is adjacent over hypotenuse what is that in in the is x over r so what is my x my x is minus three and my r is five this is your answer is minus three over five you don't calculate theta this is it's done you stop there okay and then let's do the next one the next one you are asked to do three sine theta sec theta over tan theta 
Okay, the three comes with a formula. What is sine is y over r. What is my y? My y is 4 and my r is 5. Sec is an inverse of cos. What is my cos? Is r over, no, no, is x over r. So it means this one, it will be r over x. What is my r? 5 and my x is minus 3 divided by tan is y over x. What is my y? My y is 4 over my x is minus 3. And then they said without using a calculator. So that will cancel that, that cancels that. And then I'm left with a minus 4 multiplied by minus 3 over 4. Because it's divide, I change it to multiply, I change then that, we cancel that. And then, did I lose a minus? Negative times negative is positive. And then my answer is 3. So, this is how you solve these problems. Please, grade tens, do not solve for theta. Do not solve for things that they didn't ask you to solve. They're asking you to find sine theta, sec theta, tan theta. You use the diagram. To find those things, not your calculator and solving for theta when they didn't ask you. Okay, this is a question that counts a lot of marks in your exam. Please go practice, it's not that hard. Trigonometry is not hard, you just need to practice it and then you'll get it right. Also, did you notice that they've given us the reciprocals? We also deal with the reciprocals, even the court is a reciprocal, we dealt with the reciprocals. So, just practice, practice, practice. Thank you for watching.